Stakes are different for F2 and Choco Mucho in our third game tonight. For Choco Mucho, they would want nothing more than to sustain their six game winning run in the last four games down the road. For F2, four and four, their win loss card right now is in a position they really don't like, but uh, they would like to get a chance to get to the next round no matter how slim. We're coming a little late because of the five sets that came before us. But no doubt about it, this is going to be a good one. Choco Mucho against the F2 Cargo Movers. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Phil Sports Arena beginning to percolate. We've got Lexi Rodriguez over there, and now we've got Panang de Konix Varter with us. And this is important for both teams, actually. That's right, and we're actually nearing the end of the preliminary rounds. And we have to remember that we have a total of 12 teams and only four teams will make it to the semi-final round. So it's very important for both teams to stay focused and win all the remaining games and end this round on a high note. And you can see where F2 is. It's mired together with Akari and uh, some changes have happened today because of the results of the first two games here today, Panay. That's right, and let's take a look at the team standings. Let's focus on the Choco Mucho Flying Titans and the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. The Flying Titans are peaking at the right time. You know, after losing their first game against the Creamline Cool Smashers, they are now in a six win, uh, six winning streak. Oh, six so, straight games. Tomorrow. Yes, that, that, that's the longest streak outside of Creamline's perfect record. But meanwhile, the Cargo Movers have an up-and-down conference so far and all their wins have come from the league's newest teams who are currently uh, belong in the lower half of the standings. So if, um, the uh, if the cargo movers can win today, that will put them in a, in a good position if they want to make it to the next round. Absolutely. And earlier we were beginning to focus on Cap Tolentino. Cap Tolentino had a red-hot game of 13 points. You, you think about it. You think that's not much? You only have 25 points in one set and down the road in one whole game? That's a lot, really. That's right. And Tolentino has relatively been quite in a handful of games outside of her 14-point outing against a Signal. However, she's picked up her game in her last two appearances, scoring 11 points versus a carry, then reaching double figures again against Petro Gas. She scored 13 points during that game. And Tolentino is actually the second leading scorer behind CC Rondina. And we know that CC Rondina is actually doing the um, heavy lifting yes. for Choco Mucho, and we know she can single-handedly single carry the team. So she needs her teammates like Tolentino to continue to step up. And uh, Choco Mucho, after losing their first game, have gone on, as Panen pointed out, a six-game winning streak. On the other side of the floor, we'd like to talk about Juliana De La Cruz, and she has 30 points. You heard me right, 30 points versus Signal with seven receptions as well. That's right, that's Jolina, the, Jolina's career high of 30 points, but it, they actually came um, short. Yeah. <laughs> they lost against Signals. Signal HD spikers. So that both of the teams, it went, they went back and forth, and De La Cruz was right in the center as she tried to lead her team to victory. Okay. But earlier in the conference, her teammate also, uh, we saw the rise of Ivy Laxina, and recently, we've seen the same ascension from another young standout, itong si Jolina De La Cruz. She's now the um, leading scorer of their team, 7th in spiking and 8th in receiving. Okay, and we've got a couple of ladies who are going to show us all that they have rockets, they have jets, they have wings on their feet. We'd like to talk about Cici Rodina, 
and going up against Ana Galang here today. What do you think of this uh, duo? Well, this is actually a good matchup, you know, Sir Seb, because Rondina and Galang are not only two of the best scorers in the league, but they also contribute in a variety of ways for their um, for their teams. They are both coming off tremendous performances where they scatter their contributions across the stat sheet. So not not just pang um, op, uh, attacks. They also have a good floor defense and a good first ball. And Rondina is tied for fourth in scoring and ranks third in spiking. But Galang, on the other hand, has been a solid source of points for F2. She is third best scorer in the cargo movers and has the most service aces and ranks second as the best server in the conference so far. Okay, and uh, that is a jewel we will keep a close tab on throughout this match, regardless of how many sets it goes. Lexi, um, I'm sure you're going to have a ton of reports and mm -hmm. stories to tell from this game. Start off. Right, Seven Panang, it's really good that you mentioned Cici Rondina because earlier today I got to speak with her and she told me that their motivation is actually stemming from the belief that Choco Mucho is at its prime. And other than that, she said that they have adapted well to Coach Dante's system and they are more cohesive on the court. And what's interesting is that both of these teams actually have the same mindset every time they come against each other and that is to play as if this is their last match. Now, of course, our cargo, the cargo movers are coming off from a loss, but then again, Coach Coach told me that that is volleyball. You win some, you lose some. And sabi niya today, guguluhin nila ang standings. And speaking of guguluhin and mixing things up, we've got Jolina De La Cruz, who has just been spectacular so far in this conference. And with that, that brings us the perfect time to, to check in with her and how she feels her team is doing so far in Checkpoint. Hi, I'm Jolina De La Cruz from F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Mabibigay ko na grades sa team namin ngayon ay 7. Hindi pa namin fully na papolish yung galaw namin. Kailangan namin i-improve ay yung communication. Kasi super importante siya for us, lalo na sa team sports, na dapat maroon na kami makipag-communicate at at the same time, dapat may connection kami sa setter. Si Ate Kim kasi sobra kapag ka, hindi ka nang hihingi ng set sa kanya, kahanapin ka niya na jaws, ganyan, nasan ka, ganyan. Tawagin mo kasi hindi ka natatawagin. Sobrang na-appreciate ko din si Ate Kim kasi nararamdaman ko yung trust niya sa akin. Although sometimes ako yung nawawala ng tiwala sa sarili ko pero nami-feel ko kay Ate Kim na ibibigay ko to sa'yo, magtiwala ka lang sa sarili mo, paluin mo lang. Tingin ko na kaya pang ibigay ng F2 this conference is yung, yung tuloy-tuloy din na panalo. Talagang minamanifest namin na sana manalo kami every game and hopefully ibigay sa amin ni Lord yung makapasok kami ng semis and makapasok kami ng championship. Again, that was Jolina De La Cruz of the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers who had just reached her career high of 30 points in their last game against the Signal HD Spikers. But of course, we'd like to hear from our very much and lovely engaging community here in the PVL, the heart of volleyball, which our question for the day in the Filipinas Live app is actually, which player will have an all-around performance? Will it be Ara Galang or Sisi Rondina again? Which player will have an all-around performance? And our candidates are Sisi Rondina and Ara Galang. Now, Sir Sev and Paneng, what do you think about that? Too many choices uh, for today. But think of Paneng. This is a big game, and the, the, the good players come out in this big game. Well, definitely. And we talked about these two players a while ago. So we'll see that coming into this game, for sure, they will play all out for their, for their teams. Whether well, three sets. Four sets or five sets. Nakakangiti kami all throughout dahil Choco Mucho at F2 ang maglalaro sa last game natin here today sa PVL.
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our officials for this match, our first referee is Bobby Celso, national referee. Second referee, Erlindo Eusebio, national referee. And now let's meet the starters first for the Choco Mucho Flying Titans. Outside spiker number one, Isa Molde. Center number three, Tina Wong. Opposite hitter number 10, Cap Tolentino. Middle blocker number 11, Aduke Ogunsanya. Outside spiker number 18, Sisi Rundina. And middle blocker number 22, Cherry Nunag. Starting libero is number 16, Thang Ponce. And the head coach for Chocomucho is Dante Aninsunurin. And now the starters for the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Middle blocker number two, team captain Abby Marano. Setter number one, Mars Alba. Opposite header number three, Ivy Laxina. Outside spiker number four, Ara Galang. Outside spiker number eight, Jolina De La Cruz. And middle blocker number 10, Majoy Baron. Starting libero is number five, Don Makandili Katindig. And the head coach for F2 Logistics is Regine Diego. This match is held under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. It's the Flying Titans versus the And Cardinal we are just about ready to put the ball into play. But first things first, here are your starters. Start a new way to watch the PBL. Via the Filipinos Live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. Now this is a contrast game between two teams. If you talk about F2, they're adjusting to new personnel, new systems. On the other hand, Choco Mucho, they've settled down with Dante Alunsunorin's system. Uh, as for whether how far they go remains to be seen. I'm just teasing um, uh, Coach Regine and the other assistants of F2. It was game last time. Panalo na yung Choco Mucho. Chinalins nila nung last set. Nanalo pa sila. Mahabaan ito. Yun yung mga sunod-sunod na challenge sila na successful. Ito mga ito, pag naglaban itong dalawa, ano ito, mahabang posisyon ito. Kaya itong stat sheet na Three sets lang, mali ito. Walang kwenta yan. Five sets tayo sa goal. But four at least. I wouldn't be surprised. Ang ganda ng game kanina, no? Yeah. Uh, signal at saka chill. It's just sad somebody had to lose, but uh, that's life. That's sports. A very intense match kanina. Lalo na fifth set. Hindi <laughs> sumuko, no? Hindi sumuko either side. First point belongs to F2. Let's go with the serve of Alba. Deep dig, pick up by CC Rondina. Baron leaps and misses the shot. That was a good timing actually on the quick approach, but hindi lang niya nahawakan yung bola na maayos. It was too low for her. Not on certain players, certain heights, yeah. certain curves, certain speeds. Galang at the back row. Laxina, soft stop. Pushed high up by Nunag. Reverse set, the drop by Dela Cruz. F2 starting calm and collected, not on fire. Here's Dela Cruz. They're measuring the other side. Chuck on the attack now. Here's Tolentino, her stab. Elevated by Dawn, and there's a point. Lexi Rodriguez will join us very quickly. Now coming off of a career high game, Jolina De La Cruz is here to shake things up once again and show that the core of F2 comes from within. Now despite not getting that win on their last game, actually Jolina got a, an inspiring message from her senior Kim Kianadi who is actually offering support from the sidelines. Despite not feeling her best today, she said that she is determined to give a wholehearted performance on the court. Now to witness how F2 will turn things around in this conference, you'll get the most extensive coverage of not just PVL but UAAP and PVA.
in the Filipinas live app. Now catch all games live in main view, multicam and fan stream on selected games. Now available on Google Play, Apple Store or via PilipinasLive.com. Now let's head back to this exciting match. Back to you, Seven Panin. And while you were speaking and talking about the different platforms, we have Nunag with a delivery on a big attack and kill. The both teams pa rin, mabagal ang start. Yeah. They're trying to be calculating. Hindi yung fire na mainit, yung uh, nagigigil. In the meantime, that serve is way out. Yeah, so far, slow start for both squads. Parang they're waiting for their opponent. Um, titignan nila kung ano klaseng laro yung meron, meron sila ngayon, yung araw na to. At titignan, parang counter puncher ang gusto. Yeah. Si Majoy Baron na magsaserve. Para sa kupunan ng F2. Good sized crowd here at the first sports arena. Pat Valentina uncorks Baron. Laxina. Valentino. Dalam. Wong is there. Molde to the back row. Good open attack by Isa Molde, targeting the long ball on the side of F2 Logistics. We take a look at this high attack. Well, this is a lot of players from different generations of uh, Ateneo, LaSalle, UP combined here in this game. One-handed set. Oh, Alba's just a great touch. Good connection between Alba and Maranio for that slide attack. Take a look at this. It's actually a tough one. Well, one-handed na tapos may slide attack pa yung middle attacker mo. Watch them through the years, but there are days it's so unstoppable. Lalo na pag um-explode si Abby. Yeah. At naitagyo ng mabuti ng F2. Here's the serve. Gina Wong goes under. One-handed set and you nope, not this time. Molde drops a message. It's on the ground. Good variation there on e from Isa Molde. Variating her attack as early as now. And take a look at that good timing. Drop ball behind her blockers. Coach Daniel is trying to use different combinations each time. Not... Uh, Allowing himself to fall into the trap of a regular six, but he's trying to tinker every now and then with it. Isa, however, misses that serve. The count stands at 5-4 in favor of all the cargo movers. The referee Bobby Seltzer is the man up there. He will give permission to Aragalan to serve. Being along with the set, Malakas. Yeah, that's outside. There's no block touch. But will we see the first challenge for this yeah. set? And Dante Lincenorin uh, makes that uh, hand signal, uh, size of a television set. And that means we have a challenge going on. How about the first of the day? Sometimes the challenge can be used to calm down the team. You may not get it. It calms down the team. Okay, set it down without burning a timeout, actually. Well, that's true, pero minsan, if, it takes a while then eh, yung, uh, yung challenge. So it's hard if you're the one playing inside the court, especially if the momentum is on your side. That's a good point. Yung, yung, yung pumped up, yung heart mo, yung adrenaline mo, tapos, wow, lalo yeah. na pag guy close, yung mahirap na detect. Mm -hmm. Because our officials are really making sure they want to make that right call. Tapos, I've, I've experienced some calls where in Hindi clear na meron, so they play, they'll play the point again. Watch this. A block touch. Yeah. Yun yung mga tinatawag natin ang nipis ng daan ng bola. Pero ang bilibok si mga coaches, they see that. Yeah, they see that. And you saw the confidence of the assistant coaches on the bench from Choco Mucho signaling that there was indeed a block touch. That's why they called that challenge. Sometimes the players request it from the coach because they're yeah. there at the net eh, and they can see or they're on the floor, they can tell whether something happened or not. That's the familiar Maranyo move. Here's De La Cruz hitting the ground but saved. CC. Well, she managed to hit that for it to be blocked out. 
We'll credit that point to the one-handed defense of Suki Abensanya. She did a good job of rolling. Here we go, and keeping it very much in play. Abensanya also moved out of that to uh, camp. And she started to throw uh, her post-school career there. In the meantime, here's Don Makandili. Dela Cruz zaps it over. Molde is at the back row. Dina Wong with the set. Down deep goes Galant. Maraglia flies. Agonsanya. And Nadapa. Nadapa si yeah. Isa. Well, that was a good effort though from Isa Molde because she was already in the position but Catolentino got that ball. Kaya medyo na out of balance siya. Take a look at this. Ito. Ah, oo. Oh, oh. Tapos medyo nagkakailangan. Yeah. Baka magkatamaan. Serve belongs to F2 as we return to... Oh. Uh oh That was too high for uh, Cherry Nunag. Miss Reed. I like the reaction of Dina Wong when she doesn't make a good set or somebody... Kinakamot niya yung sarili. 7-6, <laughs> 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 F2 for a set. Joust. Oh, good save. Pat Valentino with a punch. Dela Cruz. Kept in play very much. And we have the first exciting exchange. Ponce. Rondina Dela Cruz. Baron. Long exchange. CC Rondina drops it. Dela Cruz is alerted. Dela Cruz reset. Rejected. Alba goes another direction. Oh, it settles down. CC blocked. Ponce, one hand up. Where will this end? Parang telling mo bail lang hindi mo alam kung saan matatapos. Eh, ito, pinadala sa kabila! Oh! What an exciting exchange! What a rally! And credit to the defense of both squads and grabe yung sipag ng cargo movers to get that point. But it ended there. On the attack on CC Rondina without coverage from the Flying Titans. I think CC knows that in this game she's going to be very well marked. Oh, for sure. Uh, she, she's the leading scorer of the Flying Titans. And for, for sure, sa training sa cargo movers, <laughs> pre-nactis nila kung anong klaseng laro or palo meron itong si CC. You know, F2 situation at 4-4 four and four is in their hands and out of it. Because there are other teams in the similar win loss cards and it will count depend on the set count as well. In the meantime, oh it's a double contact yeah. on mm -hmm. A double contact called on Adina Wong. Ah, kay Dina pala. Yeah. Okay. Medyo umikot yung bola after niya mag set. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh-huh. Kasi pihira matawag si Dina ng ganyan eh. Actually, kahit si Kim Pahardo noon, si Alba bihira, then that yeah. happens. But this is a three-point advantage for the cargo movers. There's some clarity being sought by uh, Dante Alinsunurin with second referee Erlindo Eusebio. Who I love to tease because he does many five-set games. <laughs> There's Eusebio downstairs talking to Bobby Celso, the man up there. I wonder what the issue is. There's a smirk on the face of referee Celso. He doesn't agree. Is it? No, that's okay. We'll play on. That's rarer. They listen to the coach because usually it's the captain or is the only one who can talk. But yeah, maganda ang pakiusap until sunuri. Four nothing run by F2. Galan with a zip. Dina Wong. Dela Cruz oh. had to add lead. Too close. CC says, no problem. I got it. Alba! Actually, mataas yung... Maganda yung taas ng bola na yun sa direction ni Alba. So why not just attack that ball? Take a look at that. Alam natin, pwede rin pumalo itong si Mars Alba. Don't you just love an attack? Yeah. Kahit nasa front row siya, parang 
kung ikaw yung mag-set like other yung ibang mong teammates pwede mong uh, set ka kanya eh you know from another time in Lazar I love the cheese side that you would do that tapos nakangiti yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ikaw yung kalabal inis na inis ka samantala time out ata tayo Kaya lang, nag-aasahan tayo. Nag-aasahan tayo kung anong gagawin. Tayo mag-detect ng tempo. Nakaka-defense tayo, nakaka-offense tayo. Pero, hindi natin gusto ipatay yung bola. Okay? Kahit hindi yan, ha? O, sige. One good receive lang. Two spikers natin, discard tayo. Walang spacing tayo, ha? Spacing. Ha? Spacing, ha? Sige, 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 sige. Cut. Agresibo tayo, ha? Sige, go, go, go. Last na yun, last na yun. Hey, Joe, mo, Joe. Go, 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 go. Go lang, one pass tayo. Oh boy, this is, this is quick, huh? The best cheer dancing competition in the country is back. Catch the UAAP Season 86 Cheer Dance Competition. December 2, 2 p.m. at the Mall of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports UAAP Varsity Channel. Filipinas Live. Boy, that's, that's the one-time, big-time uh, show of the cheer dance competition. Boy, they practice for so long and then one performance. They have no season. Yeah. Just one game, one day. And parang less than 10 minutes lang din yun, right? Oh, naman. Per routine. It's so much effort and uh, everybody appreciative and it's a lively, lively show. Something seems to be amiss. But referee Eusebio says, come on, let's play on. In the meantime, the serve belongs to Abi Marano. Logistics, the F2 logistics side is ahead by five. Dean, oh, some sloppy passing by Chocomucho early on. This is a back to back service ace from Abby Marano. So F2 is focusing on their serves, forcing. Um, the Flying Titans to commit errors or have a spotty reception. You know, Dante Linsonor is such a cool dude. Inis na inis na yan, pero trying to stay. Very calm ah, during all, right. the timeout. Trying to make it clear to his players. Oh! Uh, what a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave CC Rondina with an open block. You know, you're right. Huh? Para nakalimutan siya lumampas yung ilang eksena tapos binigay sa kanya. Right. Nakakumit ka agad si Mars and si Majoy sa middle attacker ng Flying Titans. Galang sets up Baron. Molde lifts it high. Rondina. Galang says, I got a slice of it. But Rondina scores back to back. Feel mo na yung eagle ni Cici Rondina from her attack. Kasi kanina, during the start of this set, parang medyo pinipil pa niya yung range niya eh. That's a good point. Parang sinusupat niya yung mood nung laro. Yeah. Marks Alba sets up Dela Cruz. One-handed move by Gallon. Creative and in a desperate move to keep it in play. Valentina through two defenders. Three points in a row from the Flying Titans. So cutting down the lead of the cargo movers by only three points. And the serve belongs to Dina Wong. Galang, back row attack. Dina sets up this one. Now the uh, both sides settle down now. Jolina. What a smart attack there by Jolina De La Cruz. Ang layo na niya doon. But na-target pa niya yung kamay ni Cancelentino for that swipe attack. And now we're at technical timeout.
Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live on HD and on demand anytime, anywhere, on uh, any device as well. Try the Filipino Slide app. Download and register now. Glad you're with us. And uh, Sev Charmenta here together with Panang and Nikonik Varto, together with Lexi Rodriguez, who's patrolling the entire field sports arena to give you stories. And look at uh, Kim Kiana and wonders who she's messaging. All out support for the cargo movers, Kiana B. She was uh, with the team on the floor, trying to warm up. She's yeah. also nursing an injury, of course. Yeah, she is. You'll never catch Kim Kiana B in a bad hair day, you know? It's really glamorous, right? I can't help but say it. And uh, we miss her on the floor also. She's a very... Fire intense player. I miss watching her covering her game as well. Because he, he's one of the missing parts of F2, actually. In the meantime, close and tight here. F2 still ahead. Gallon with some good defensive moves here. Cut shot. Laxina. Ah! Yeah, of course. So, if you want to get the net, there's a free ball, a sack to you. If you want to get the net, take a look at that. And do you? Ah, boy, you didn't want to get the net. You didn't want to get the net. Or you didn't want to get the net. Come on, guys. Si Majoy Baron. Good bawi yo ni Majoy Baron. You know, it's a new prototype. It's a new bawi. It's a new ball and lean, you know? Right. The Baron, the Majoy Baron. Tolentino. In the meantime, the Jolina. Molde didn't get good contact. Galan with a punch. Luna sets up. Tolentino. Laxina. Rondina. Molde. Well, that's what Don does so well. Galang! No, the pass! The pass is still there. There's a challenge. And I can't tell what they call those three or five or seven years. And everybody in the volleyball community was so sad when Anna Galang got that injury. Yeah. One community, you know, they were put in. Because she was playing really well during that time. And it's sad to see players um, go down in it with an injury. I hope she, she's fully recovered from that. And uh, meanwhile, Coach uh, Jago decided to challenge this ball in or out. Oh, Enough. that's outside. Malayo sa linya, but uh, good try though for the cargo movers. That's an unsuccessful challenge, so the point will go to the Flying Titans. Yan po ang ating bilang sa mga sandaling ito, 14-11. Ang 11 ay nasa Choco Mucho. Ito si Nunag, kanya mong serve. Talang! She will love that! Yes, of course, Aragala, one of the go-to scorers of uh, the cargo movers. And yun yung mga gusto niyang set, yung mga tickets sa net. Dahil ang daming daan ng bola ni Ara. And she's a very smart attacker. Tsaka kaya niyang lampasan or overpower yung block eh. Ay! Baron knew it. Uh, that's a shot she would like to take back. Doon na tatawa na si Majoy. Parang nagmadali siya doon sa pwesto niya eh, dahil she got that save. Patayo pa lang siya. Ito mo ng 2018 Asian Games. Pauwi kami, sabay kami niyan. Si Majoy at saka si Kim Kiana. Tumayo ako. Umupo uli ako eh. Naliit ako. Yeah, matangkad silang dalawa. Very tall women. In the meantime, there's another tall woman here. Laxina is all set to serve. Serving my partner, Rupert Saifi Laxina. Mahirap tong game na ito. The games, 
nung po, even nung, po, nung first game, ah, yung uh, farm fresh, each point pinaghahalaban na kasi team standings nagkick in na eh. They're trying to win as many games as possible, although mababa yung farm fresh, ah. Yeah, but they had a very good game a while ago Stand against Petrogas. Ang aga mo rin pala kanina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Samantala, the ball is not handled well. And Choco Mucci is knocking on the door. Pisa Molder will serve. Familiar, Maranyo move, and Abi is telling the rest of the team, it's out, ladies. Wouldn't you love to play for Abi Maranyo if he was your captain? You would, no? Yeah. Gusto ko yung motivation niya, yung leadership niya. Very intentional inside the court. It hasn't faded eh, through the years. Lumang, <laughs> tumitindi pa nga ata. In the meantime, Dina Wong making a chase down. Galang got to it. Abi. And pump down by Agudsanya, the counter, it's alive. The set, the reverse, oh, gentle drop. Players tumbling down, and it's long and out. Coach, uh, the CC wants a uh, challenge, but she yeah, won't get it. Because she's actually not sure, and even the coaches didn't see if there was a block touch. But I think she was um, targeting the hands of her blockers. Yes. Napasobra nga lang. Cargo movers have a four-point lead. Here's Dana Wong. CC. Oh, oh. That woman can find yeah. difficult corners. Huh? I thought it was going to sail out, but it clipped the line. Oh, actually, in the corner pocket of uh, the cargo mover's court. <laughs> in the meantime, Agunsanya is going to serve. Three-point lead by the cargo movers in a fiercely fought first set. And this is the trend that's going to happen in the days ahead, really. Galapus. That's outside. Yeah, that's outside. However, Jorina thinks... Somebody touched it. Here's a challenge was actually confident that someone touched that ball. I think one of her blockers did. Ito, mabilis natin masisili. Parang meron. I think it was in the pinky of yeah. Dina. So that the was a good is challenge. Is successful one for the cargo the movers. Sure, parang sure na sure si Julina, eh, no? Yeah. Body language niya, tsaka yung... Uh, if you can read a bit of her lips, actually. And F2 moves ahead slightly. 19, 15 pounds. Net is a shaking. Net touch call on Dina Wong. So, medyo napapansin natin na problematic yung first ball nito ang Flying Titans because we're seeing a lot of missed receives and nakakuha pa na service ace itong cargo movers. Parang wala sa tempo ang Choco. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, Abby apologizes. 16-20. Macandili is back in as Rivero. Galang and Lali ng Dinokutan. De La Cruz with a drop. Dina Wong working hard. CC and Dina with a cut. Oh, Don Sabi. Sabi ni Don. Ako na! And De La Cruz gets it to bite between two defenders. Of course, that's Jolina De La Cruz challenging her blockers. That was actually a very high set coming from you know, Don right. Macandili. But she was able to time that well. <laughs> Julina has a lot of time to check if she brought her passport, her <laughs> luggage, and then she landed in the place of destination. Moldes has been a steady force. The back row that is rejected. And CC unable to get it across. 
so far, nababantayan na itong cargo movers. Yung mga atake ni Cici Rosina. So they're really focusing on their blocking. Ano pong kailangan ng sayaw ng konti ni Dina sa kabila muna. Itago si Cici Rosina. Here's Alba on her serve. When Dina gets to it, here's Wong. She reverses. And he got a dividend out of Tolentino's attempt. Yeah, that, there was a big opening on the down the line for Kat Tolentino. So that was a good attack from her. Take a look at this. Take a look at the gap on the, down the line. Yeah, kita may puang, ano? Yeah. Kasi ang takong kolosyon doon. In the meantime, Maxina's counter! Take a look at that spike in between two of her blockers. Two tall blockers in front yeah. of her, but actually Ivy is tall also. They both to Ivy, they must attack the tall. 23-17 tally here in the first set. This is uh, moving slow by slow, step by step. Ponce is there. There's Dina. And the whip by Nunag. Look at the way Nunag has developed as a player. Her confidence improving. In the meantime, Arocha sees action for the first time, pulling out Nunag. This is Regine Arocha. Her assignment is to serve. Her team currently down by five. Pero deceptive tong laro na ito. Biglang sasabog yung crowd dito, makita mo. Slow na di-start yung laro. Matandili. Oh! Ah, Nagkasabitan pa yeah. si Arocha at saka si Wong. Set point for F2. We see Shola Alvarez come in for Baron. Maranya is back in. Nuna has been brought back into the lineup by Dante Alucinone. And as mentioned, set point for F2. And Mulder whips it against the block. He apologizes to Marano. They got into a um, brief contact. We have Birai coming in and Jem Perer sees some action. It's a double substitution for the Flying Titans. Coach Dante would want to have that full front row. Having three attackers and Jem Ferrer will serve now. Jem serve, stays in. With oh, oh, well done. Beautifully done. And look at the rampa. Nijam Ami. <laughs> Oh, take a look at that finish for the first set. And yung mga gusto ni Abby, yung mga fast set on the slide. And look at this. I hope we get the walk. And we do. With the hair flip. That completes the set. <laughs> Okay, 25-19, final count of the first set. And don't forget that new streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app.
available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. The uh, mood of the first set was uh, a slow dance, if you could call it that. But uh, both were calculating, both were trying to measure each other, Panay. That's right. You knew first, I mean, start ng first set. Everyone was cal calculating kung anong klaseng laro meron yung kanilang opponents. But during the uh, mid part ng first set, Cargo Movers had a lot of strong serves, forcing um, the Flying Titans to have a spotty receiver. Even they scored a couple of service aces, talking about the Cargo Movers. So this is something that gusto sa focus ng Flying Titans coming into the second set, is to have a better first ball. Because without a good first ball, they'll have a hard time. Um, Dina Wong actually will have a hard time activating all of her attackers because she's going to pull the ball, right? But on the side of the cargo movers, everything working well for them. So let's take a look at let's take a look at the numbers for that set. Um, attack points, malapit lang, one point lang yung um, difference. Cargo movers scoring 14 attack points with two block points and two service aces, and they had less errors for that set with five. Errors against a seven now a flying titans. So coming into this second set, we'll see if the cargo move, cargo movers will be able to sustain their momentum and if the flying titans will be able to adjust and maybe win this set as well. Ano kailang gawin? Top priority ng choco mucho dito sa second set. The passing nila medyo shaky. Yeah, yeah. I think it's really the passing because we know the cargo movers. Um, maayos sila mag-serve. Magaling sila mag-target and kargado sila mag-serve. And actually, they're the number three best serving team for their for this conference so far. So, that's what they need to focus on. And I don't cue uh, overball received from the Flying Titans. And energy-wise, you can see that F2 has the better energy so far in the match. Right. And uh, it'll be a challenge for Choco Mucho to kick it up several notches to stay in step with the cargo movers. Glad you could join us. Uh, Seb Sarmenta here with Panang uh, Mercado, Panang Vaisa, and uh, we've got also uh, this attack, and completing our team, of course, is Lexi Rodriguez. Sorry, Lexi, I almost forgot you. De La Cruz. Baron. Oh, boy. You were saying, don't leave her alone. Yeah, I've actually pinakawala na ni Mars Alba because she's in the back row, so she's not allowed to block yes. that overball. At center, you have to constantly remind yourself, where are you in the rotation? We've seen center sometimes forget, then they, they'll attack it. So in the meantime, here's Makandili, Laksira, oh. hello! Grabe yung attack na yun, parang walang blockers in front of her. But a good timing on the combination play and that middle attack from Ivy Laxina. Score po natin, 2-1 dito po sa ating uh, second set. First set, in case you uh, tuned in late, was 25-19. Update on production, Rodina has 5 points, Molde 4 points, Valentina 3. De La Cruz with 4, Abby Marano leads the pack with 6. Lexi has a report. Seb, don't forget about me. I'm still here, but okay. you know, the last two games of the last two games, the last time that these two teams actually faced each other, they served us with a five-set thrilling match. And it looks like that F2 is here to halt CC Rondina's bombing attacks. Now CC actually disagreed that F2 is different now because she said that F2 shouldn't be underestimated. Sabe panganya, na kahit na nakakasabay na sila sa sistema ni Coach Dante, they still shouldn't set for less because F2 is one of the teams to beat. Well, Zef, Seven Penang looks like we'll see another thrilling and long match tonight, so buckle up. But for you viewers, you can relax anywhere you want because you'll get the most extensive coverage of PBL on the Filipinas Live app. You may view it through main view, multicam, and fan stream. Download on Google Play, Apple Store, or via the PhilippinasLive.com. Now back to the panel. Thank you very much, Lexi. Indeed, uh, these two teams, when they square off, it's quite a thriller, and uh, the beneficiaries are all of us, of course. And that's uh, ah, it's a very uh, yeah. uh, lethargic game by Choco here in the early part of this match. There's also pressure on Choco Mucho, uh, if you think about it, to sustain that winning streak. There's a uh, challenge, I believe. Yeah, they will challenge that call whether the service of Cherry Nunag is inside or outside the court. Well, the challenge has now become part of uh, the volleyball landscape. Here we go. It's out. Yeah. 
It's out. Malayo sa linya. So that one is unsuccessful for Coach Dante. So the point will stick with the cargo movers. Settle down his team. We're tied at three. Ponce twirling on the floor. Garland with a hand in it, but unable to drill it in. The shot of Laxina still being bandied about on the other side. Setup being done for Garland. Here's Dina. The quick Maddie Madea, by the way, is in the, on the floor already. Ponce makes it a set. Ah, Hule. Good block there by Aragala. Coming from the first set, nakakadami din ng down-the-line attack si Catalentino. But that was a good block. Talagang sinarado na niya yung zone one. Catalentino unable to score her fifth point. He was denied access there. Um, Galang has already three points and two attacks. And on that block, Alba. Yeah, she didn't like that set, that toss-up. Rondina is in the back row. Dina Wong reverses. Here's a cut shot by Tolentino. Alba sends it to Galang. It's uh, denied entry. Alba to the back row. Nagkagulo ng Ponte and Choco. Oh, set up. Bang! On target. Molde with a lethal blow. Credit to the run of Dina Wong. Nagkagulo ng Ponte and Choco. Oh, yeah. Yung from Tang Ponce. Ang tayo, but he was still able to set that ball to Isa Molde. And what a cross-court target there. Stop your step. Ano? Galing ng set there. Eh? Naidgawa pang magkaroon ng opportunity to score. Alba with a good set for Gala. Di lang nag-stay down. Molde. That is gonna work for Laxina. You know yung move ni, ni Alba na remind me so much of a player named Janet Sirafika of uh, Adam Jindu when she would dance those <laughs> large <laughs> <players>. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that, John South Africa. Former Adams and Setter. Ang graceful yung gumala. In the meantime, here we go. Oh! Dito magid! Dito magid! Gusto niya hipan, ano? Akit! Akit! Hindi yung makit. But a good anticipation from Dina Wong, actually, kasi sinundan niya yung bola kung saan siya dadaan. So if ever pumasok yung for sure, Dina will be there to receive that ball. Tayo po ay nasa five ball. Isa Molde is on your picture and misses the serve. And we're seeing a couple of service errors from the side of the Flying Titans. Total is about five. And uh, on the other hand, F2 with three. Total errors, uh, mas marami, choko mucho. Here comes Ara. Yes, 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 the coach has called yeah. it. The coach has called it. Cross court bomb. Because they already know that that's a strong angle of CC Rondina. So as much as possible, if you are her blocker, isarado mo na yung cross court mo and adjust mo na yung defense mo. I really feel CC's legs became stronger when she spent a lot of time in beach volleyball. Right? Actually, yeah. Okay. Iba, iba endurance uh, and agility yeah, 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 outside. There's no block touch this time. So Choco Mutra is off by two points. Namo pag gento quality ng team si scoring babagal. Yeah, kasi mas dumadami yung rally. Rally. Yeah, there are less. Uh, there are not that many errors really. Galang with a nice whip. Maranyo. Red by Tolentino. Oh! Whoa! Pierces the defense. Magandili. Just a step away, but still unable to lift the tie. Watch this. Actually, uh, a good fake from Dina Wong because he's like, he's set. Yeah. But he dropped the ball. 
Dina in the expect ng cargo movers. A smart play there by Dina. Which is what you want to do. Not all the time. Dina reverses. Tolentino. Laxina with a hand in it. We've got a lively rally going on here. Madayag is the setup. Round Dina overpowers Makandili. Of course, Cici Rondina starting to score a lot of points for the Flying Titans. We'll take a look at this strong course. Cross-court attack once again. And a point for the Flying Titans. A timeout called here by Coach Rodin Diego. Strategic conference said uh, what to do about the uh, defense of, of the attacks of Choco Mucho. Of course, don't forget that the best cheer dancing competition in the country is coming back. That's the UAP season 86 cheer dance competition. December 2, 2 p.m., Mall of Asia Arena. Watch it live on One Sports UAP Varsity Channel and Filipinas Live. Here's the set. Marano punches it, but it's still in play. Makandili says, I can take it. De La Cruz does not force the issue. Malde is there. Oh! oh big hit by Nunat. So you can see the play of the Flying Titans really improving now, comparing it to the first set. Yes. Cherry Rose Nunat. Breaking down any kind of defense. In fact, there was no real defense on the part of F2 in that sequence. Chocomucho with a five-point lead. Matayag at work in the back row. Valentino, too much. Yeah, that's outside. But still, the Flying Titans has a comfortable lead. Four-point lead for this set. And Abby Marano is now in the service area. She scored a couple of service aces during the first set. A couple indeed, two of them in fact. The total production is six points. De La Cruz with a fingertip on it. A bit of a push. One back row attack. Molde, nowhere to go. De La Cruz closing the door. So far, you're blocking Slitong uh, cargo movers. Hindi na synchronized. Ang laki ng gap ng blockers nila. And parang hindi na siya nagkakasabay tumalon. That's a good point. In the meantime, Albert tracks it down. De La Cruz. Ponce is twirling again. Rondina! So clearly, it's easy Rondina giving problems now to, to the cargo movers. Really challenging the blockers and defense of the cargo movers, and now they're up by six points. We are uh, a technical timeout.
coming a bit late, but uh, not uh, late delivering great volleyball for all of you. Get access to the second All-Filipino Conference at the Premier Volleyball League live and in HD and on One Sports Plus. Plus four premium channels for the whole family when you switch to Signal Post. Please subscribe to Plan 520 and enjoy three free months uh, with uh, no cash out. 88555 or visit your newest Signal Tool. Boy, so far to me, Rondina should be on it. Dalan doesn't get that much in terms of uh, attack balls, so Choco is already going to Rondina almost exclusively, actually. But Ara is having a very steady first ball and defense yeah, for the cargo does, movers. She does other things as well, you know? Yeah. But don't forget that the first set went the way of uh, F2 at 25 19. That's too low, but Baron may do. Valentino makes them swim. De La Cruz on court, and it's out. Yeah, outside again, no block touch for Jolina De La Cruz. And now, substitution from the cargo movers. Maela Pablo going in for De La Cruz. Dina Wong, all set to serve. Dalam. Pablo. And it's inside. Yeah, that's inside. <laughs> Good push there by CC Rondina. And wait, is there an argument? Will they challenge? I don't think so. Yeah, there will be no challenge from the cargo movers. They will just let that go because they only have one remaining challenge left for this set. The count right now, if that is not challenged, it's 15-7. Referee Salso trying to run a tight ship here. Okay. Calling uh, the captain on the floor. Aragala, yellow card. Issued against step 2 I think it's because someone rang the buzzer. And did not pursue? Yeah, and did not pursue the challenge. I think that one is for uh, delaying the game. Well, it's a disciplinary measure more than anything else. Earlier today in the PNBF, I saw a disciplinary measure. The assistant is not allowed to stand up. Yeah, only the head only coach. Only the head coach is allowed right. to stand up. Along the sideline, huh, that is, during uh, the play. Valentino's uh, having a uh, difficult time piercing the defense, but Choco still manages to score. What a run by the Flying Titans. So the, if you just take a look at the body language of the cargo movers, it's so silent compared to yeah, the first set. Yeah, the energy was sapped out of them. The wind taken out of their sails, but they're trying to perk up a new. Dina Wong with two hands on it. It's over the net, but still in play. Baron has somebody down underneath. Pablo gets away from the scene. And it's a whip. Back up. Yeah. Football called on Ivy Laxina because she's on she's in the back row. So if you're going for that back row attack, you are not allowed to step on the line. Ayana. There we go. Nice replay, the net. Kita kita. Um, Kim Fajardo has been issued. Oh! Nuna took full advantage of Fajardo not being ready yet. Yeah, and actually, kanina pa yan si Cherry, pag nakabantay sa net, pag naka-overball ang cargo movers, papaluin niya talaga yan. She will not give chance for her opponents to even receive her attack. Cherry, Regalo Muna. <laughs> Best gift you can expect this Christmas. Laxina swimming on the floor. Chocomucha moving ahead, 19-7. What a big lead here by the Flying Titans. 14 to 1 run. Oh! 15 to 1. 
You can just feel the energy of Dina Wong really liking that service ace. As, as to the delight of all the fans here live in the oh. Phil Sports Arena. The Choco Mucho Barangay Violet. <laughs> the Purple People. Well, it was well, and that's going to make it 16 to 1 in a round. 21 7. Second set, Choco Mucho coming to life here. Kung ganito yung kalaki, yung lamang ng kalaban nyo, as much as possible, huwag ka magpakita ng frustration inside the court. Dahil... Yan, patayin mo yung bola. Ayan yung run na nangyayari. Kailan makapatay kayo rito. Yeah, that's a 10-0 run by the Flying Titans. Ponce, steadfast. Nunag. Pablo in very difficult waters. Pablo. Denied entry. Gala bounce to the net. That's just too low for Ara Gala. And an 11-0 run for the Flying Titans. And they have outscored in total F2 17-1. Ponce, she's like a wall on the floor. Rondina. Finally, a much needed point for the cargo movers. It took them a while to block CC Rondina, but you just have to admire CC Rondina's passion and talent inside the court. Si Tony Ponce na libero ng choke mo dyan. Kikipagpalitan ng mukha doon sa saig eh, no? Talagang walang fear. Oh, Dunag! But Wu with a good job. This is Carmel Wu. Dina. I think that's playable. Pablo got to it. But woo, that's playable. Don't bloody touch it. Again, that's Catalentino. Back to back open attack from her. Take a look at this using the hands of her blockers. Ito pa punta sa atin to. Siyasip ko sana sa iyo to eh. Titig mo na. Three passes tayo. Oh, sige, three, three touches. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, ay, hindi nakalusot. Nababasa na ng Choco kung gusto gawin ng F2, ha? Ah. Rondina is in the back. Valentino delivers. Set point for Choco Mucho. What a reversal, ha? Eh? Yan. Yeah. Ang grabe yung aggressiveness ng Choco Mucho coming into this second set. Everyone already contributing in the scoring department. The Choco Mucho Barangay Violet. Uh oh. Rondina! And listen to this crowd roar! Choco Mucho reversing the trend. Tying up this match at one set apiece. Brace yourselves for a long, long ride, I guess.
You can uh, do different mathematics. That was a long 20 to 2 run in total. Uh, and a very short set at 22 minutes compared to the first set at 31 uh, in that uh, second set. That the trend was turned around just for that moment. Well, definitely. Actually, a good start from both squads in the second set. We just had one. We just had one of the two that we had to do in the second set. Not until we got the flying titans. Not start si Cici Rondina, tas nagsunod-sunod na na sumunod itong um, bumulusok ang Flying Titans. And actually, they caused a lot of problems on the blocking ng uh, cargo movers. Which was solid in the first set, ha? Huh? Yeah, yung blocking ng cargo movers was solid in the first set, but very spotty nung second set. Naiiwan na nila. Uh, ang lalaki ng gap sa block ng attackers nitong uh, Flying Titans. And the, they took advantage of that clearly because take a look at the numbers. Choco Mucho dominating the attack department with 16 points against three non-cargo movers. And the Flying Titans also scored two block points and one service ace and less errors for that set. Three errors lang compared to six non-cargo movers. So, it naging maganda yung ball distribution din ni Dina Wong for that yeah. set because they they were able to improve on their first ball and even defense na nahahatid na nila kay Dina yung bola and of course if you have that luxury of having a good uh, first ball talagang you will activate all of your attackers but on the side of the cargo movers there were times na nag-switch sila sa blocking to up to check si si Rondina but dun sila naguluhan dun sila naguluhan na nanilate sila mag-switch nanilate humabol yung mga middle blockers so that adjustment um, slow adjustment for their side cost them that a second set, but a way better gameplay for the Flying Titans. And we are tied up in the set count after a 25 to 8 rampage by Chocomucho in the second set. And now F2 will need something special here. They gotta kick it up energy wise as well. Now we got a good one going here. This could go either way. Sets are tied. What a piece. Well, we kind of expected that uh, we'll take the scenic route with this one as we welcome you to set number three. Different lineup here for uh, the cargo movers with Myla Pablo starting for this set. They brought in Myla towards the end uh, of that second set, hoping to arrest the tide, but uh, Myla not properly warmed up, I suppose. Right, and also, um, Jolina De La Cruz here, inside the court, we're not seeing Aragala. Jolina, surprised at the ball that hit her head, managed to get over safely. That does not cross for Laxina. Uh, same lineup naman dito, meron ang Flying Titans with uh, Man Manny Madayag. Who started for the second set and will start again for the third set? Referee self says, please serve. That stays in cleanly. Alba is going to serve now. Our count right now is. Uh, just to double check, I don't want to judge, uh, speculate. Yes, I was right. One all. Set count is one all as well. Wong, Rondina, cross court again. And that's 11 points already for CC. Of course, that's her strength, her cross court attack. And clearly a miscommunication there on the side of uh, De La Cruz and Don Makandili. pick up downstairs. De La Cruz, Rondina elevates it. Ponce makes it a set. Attack ball. Balde misses. Yeah, that's too low for Balde. She wasn't able to time that well. Coming off from a out of system set from Tang Ponce. She doesn't tell you, you know, okay, fine. Yeah, he's very calm. Next, what's next? One more time, we'll see. Parang his mind is the one that's working, you know? Really, I'm um, checking kung anong, anong rotation ang okay for their squad. Set of players na pwede niyang gamitin. Here comes Madi Madayag on the floor. Si Ponce, bundle of energy. 
Yeah. Yes. Teddy, be Teddy Bear Foley. <laughs> Here comes Nunags. Serve and we are in play. Back row. Oh, that's still inside with the help of the net. Parang sinasabi ni Sis, kita nyo yun, kita nyo yun, kita nyo yun. Sobrang layo ng approach is easy from the back row. Mga nanonood sa hometown ni Sisi sa Sugbo. Mayang gabi, kanin yung tangan sa Sugbo. Ito ang Sir Nunag. By the way, sa mga kaigsuonan nato sa Iloilo on December 2, the PBL will be there in Iloilo. Two games scheduled there. Baron will serve. You know, F2 is now looking for that combination that will bring them back to that mode in the first set. That's too much in 25-8. They didn't really get anything going. Rondina with a high dig. Oh. Not clean, you know. On, sir. Combination. Okay, Lexi Rodriguez will provide us an update. Thanks, Seth. Paneng, you mentioned that perhaps it was too slow of a start in that first set, but look how quickly the Choco Mucho got that second. But, you know, other than Coach Dante's system, it was actually, the team actually says that it was Dina Wong who transformed big time in terms of her game. As CC would put it, it was Dina who drove them throughout this journey in becoming one of the front runners in this all-Filipino conference. But another extensive journey we're talking about is the coverage you'll get of PVL on the Filipinas live app. You can drive by main view, multicam, or the fan stream. So download now on Google Play, Apple Store, or via the Filipinas Live website. Now back to you, 7 Pane. Thank you very much, Lexi Rodriguez, and that update. And uh, if your server or your setter is in a good place, you will find yourself in a good place as well, Dina. One-handed reverse, and she scores. Of course, Don Makandili was already there, pero a smart push by Dina Wong. Wong, in terms of production, so far just three points, but I'm sure she's done tons of other things as far as excellent sets are concerned. That's uh, not a scoring statistic, and it's very subjective. Ponce is smiling. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of uh, running attack from Abby Marano. Wala masyadong quick, like A or B you know, you're right. It's always running. So I think... Nababasa ng Choco eh. Tapos, that's where the absence of, absence of, Eric, of uh, uh, Kim Kiana D matters. Diba? Lumulundag kasi si Kim eh. At saka pag nandun si Joy, nalilito yung kalaban eh. That's right. But actually, um, one of the strengths din yan ni Abby Maranyo is yung running attack. Yeah. And that is blocked, or blocked out, I'm sorry. And now the count reads 7-6. Chokomuchu with a very slight lead. Parang same lang nung first set, uh, nung second set rather, na isahan lang nung starts. So we'll see kung sino yung unang bubulusok dito. Regalo. Milan na the baon. That's inside, clearly so. De La Cruz knocks it in. We're tied at seven. Here in the third. It's a long day of lots of volleyball. Uh, we're sure you're enjoying all the action when Dina uncorks. Nunak's favorite spot. I'm just talking about Dina Wong. Napaka heart on her sleeve. And when she initiated the play, she said, I'm going to go to the camp. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Bawi na lang sa next. That's already talking to the attackers. The reverse. Valentina. Regalo. Regalo. Merry Christmas. Hindi na ako ah. A chance ball for the Flying Titans. That's inside. 
And a good approach by Cherry Nunag. Actually, parang zero tempo siya, meaning siya yung naunang tumalon. Or sabay lang sila ng bola. Kaya ang hirap timing niya for the blocks. You know, Dino Wong is just a good pilot. She knows which skies to go to. Baron is foiled. Alba resets. Ponce working the back row. Tip. Well, is red. Tip. Alba is red. Rondina. Pablo. Second longest right. And it's slapped out. Yeah, that's Jelena De La Cruz using the hands of Kat Tolentino to get that point. So there were a lot of drop balls yeah. from uh, the cargo oh, movers na hindi na convert ng Flying Titans. Here's Alba and her serve. And Dina. That's rejected. Parang alam niya. Yeah. Parang binagalan niya yung approach niya, yung, yung contact sa bola for that open attack. Be clear, Skies, and the turbulence of Azeo, bang. Alba. Touches the net. We are in play. Valentino. Alba from her serving position, ran for it. And Tolentino knocks it down, a one-point lead. No, checking that. One-point lead by F2, that is. Unless we're tied now. Unless the scoreboard was a tad slow. I will wait. No, we're right. Chocomucha down by one. Alba. De La Cruz. Once a high set. Oh, back-to-back -back point. By Scott Tolentino. Don't you like the childlike exuberance of Ponce when she does something? An adult? 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 Uh, but she's such a fun uh, libero to watch, actually. 11 10 is the tally here. Ito, medyo kandado yung pinto. So far, Tang Ponce and the stat sheet, she is number one in the best uh, digger department and also number one in the best receiver department for this conference so far. So far, De La Cruz with that many points. Six. Molde. Molde. On the ground. Yeah, but now we don't go and see Isa Molde. Here's Nuna. Oh, that's uh, outside. Talaga iniwas ni Ivy Lafsina yung palo niya. Parang nailang siya dahil nakita niya si Isa Molde. Nandun na, nakasarado no, na yung no, down the line. That's true, daunahan siya, no? Right. 12-11, Choco re-obtains the lead. Woo. From Dina, playing like a libero. Woo slides, but catches it. Long. Oh, yeah. That's way outside. And a two-point lead by the Flying Titans. And we have arrived at the technical marker. We have a 13-11 tally here in the third.
Welcome back. This is still the PVL, the heart of volleyball, and you're still watching Chocomujo Flying Titans versus the F2 Logistics Cargo Movers. Well, Gen Z may get it, but a lot may ponder on the question, what does Beast Mode actually mean? Well, here's Abby Maraño of F2 to define it for us. Beast Mode talaga yung, ano, yung concept na meron sa akin since college ako. Yung Beast Mode don't care. When you're in Beast Mode, nagzo-zone out ka eh. Arr, ganun, parang nakakagigil, ganyan. Ang init, ayun, ang init sa pakiramdam, nagka-fire ka inside. I have known Abby for a very long time and it's the first time I catch her explaining what she does. Yeah. Hard, huh? What meaning to say, but it's so natural when it comes from her. Nung araw, nung hindi pa masungit yung mga referees sa... Eh, and uh, you know, cheering or talk, quote unquote taunting. Abby would really scream like, Nung nasa lasal siya talaga. Ah, at medyo sabihan siya na rin, iikot niya, ganun pa rin ang sigaw niya. Oo, tatalik ko siya agad sa net, pero may, may moment pa rin siya na beast mode. That was when she teamed up with the, the, her former Ateneo opponents, the national team. Gulat sila pag binubuhat sila ni, ni Abby, di ba? Yeah. <laughs> Dama, barang yung manubol. And that's the way she leads. That's out of reach. Take a look at that push by Madi Madayag. Just too far by uh, Majoy. And Madayag serve, Wu, Alba. That's, the, she needs to activate Pablo. And Rondina over, shoots it. Yeah, it's long. Alba is actually giving chance to her attackers, pero nahihirapan lang sila makapatay ng bola dahil ang ganda ng depensa ngayon ng Flying Titans. And that's so correct, no? Again, if you just join us, the first set went to F2, 25-19, the second set, was a romp by Chocomucho at 25-8. Third set, still in progress, 14-13. Close to the net, Dina adjusts. Balde uncorks. Alba sends it. Pablo fires. Dina, Mijigasaere. Well done by Alba. I think that's the second point from Amaris Alba. Na pumalo siya pag na, siya yung nasa front row. Nakita niya, nagsascramble pa yung mga attackers niya. And kaya naman niya pumalo, and that's why nakakuha siya ng puntos from that attack. Kung kutub ko converted yan. Kutub ko lang. I may, I may be wrong. Kasi pag mag... Like si Kim Pajardo, galing di pumalo nun. <laughs> naman talaga, oh, they cannot sustain a run, ha? Eh? Yeah. Sayang yung momentum nasa kanila, but they're in the service area, nagkocommit sila ng errors. Virai is dispatched by Dante Linsunurin. Molde serve. Overpass. Jaws. Rondina. And Madaya punishes them on the other end. A good connection between Dina Wong and Madi Madaya. Really activating her middle attackers now, confusing the blockers of the cargo movers. That's correct. Uh, you know, they're late. Yeah, they're late and with a huge gap. Wu. Alba. Cut shot by Myla. Bolden sends it to the rear. Alba reverses. I think Abby touched the net. Yeah. She knew. <laughs> you yeah. yeah, she reacted after that attempt. But we know Abby Maranio has a fast um, slide attack. Oh, Pero no. parang during that last um, attempts, medyo mabagal eh. Kaya hindi rin niya na napapalo na maayos. All this is... Ay, 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 ay. Neither side has really gotten some kind of run here compared to each side's run in the first two sets. Mila Pablo is in your picture, serving right now. Here comes the set by Wong. She's going 
to Madayang and they produce some points. Dina checks the scene. Don Dina and Furls counter. Back to Dina. Reverse Madayag. Madi Madayag is activated now for the set. Oh, activated. <laughs> Courtesy of the good sets of Adina Wong. Ganda ng um, connection nila this set. Alam mo kasi, binabantayan ng F2 si Rondina. Pag nag-open, they have no idea. Madayag is waiting in the side. Eh. Right, and hinihiwalay. Ni... Ano niya, ba't binubuha din siyang ito? Na, napilay ba? Oo. Oh, oh. I think cramps, yeah. And that's a leader. Sabi nga nung author si Simon Sinek, a leader is not someone who is in charge, but who takes care of those who are in charge. And uh, De La Cruz is uh, smiling on the way to the bench. Parang bagong kasal, eh? <laughs> I'm not kidding, of course. But uh, she had a laugh of her own, and uh, it's yeah. 15, 15. Yeah, yeah. Tapa, Have you had cramps in the game? Um, no? Not that I can remember. Uh, pero, <laughs> ano daw, eh? May tigas daw talaga yeah. yung legs mo dyan, eh? In the middle of the night, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ano to, ano to? In the meantime, we have a challenge by Chocomucho. They think it's a block touch. Alam mo, yung mic dapat ipasok dun sa, ano eh, dun sa chismisa ng mga girls dun sa, sa loob ng court eh. Mas masaya yun eh. Yung coach naman, si Dante, wala naman sasabihin yun. Oh, because sometimes, di ba, um, the, the coaches are allowed to talk to their yeah. players during uh, challenge. But when, when it started, hindi pinapayagan. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, yeah, medyo, uh, we're learning how to live with it. Here we go. Uy, meron. Yeah, clearly, there's a block touch. I think substitution from the side of the cardinal movers for Hernandez and him from Hardor now inside the court. Hernandez first time to be on the floor. And Shola Alvarez also. Oh, bumalik na si Shola. Yeah. One-handed set. Dug up by Dirai. Rondina is denied access. But it's box blocked out, rather. It's now a 20 to 15 third. Aragala will return, pulls out Pablo. Madaya has provided points coming off the bench. Well, they're still there. And that's red hot. Yep, that's Caitlin Virai from the back row. F2 wants to huddle up. Laban sa pinakabagong sports app ng Pilipinas Live. Mamapanood ng PBA Season 48. Just uh, chance there. Live in high definition and on demand on any device. Available worldwide. Download and register now for free. Just Chang is uh, nursing an injury. Still serving Betty Madayan. Wow. Dina Wong with 16 excellent sets so far. That's oh. a miss by Nuna. Yeah, it was too low. But a uh, rare error from uh, Cherry Nuna. Let's relay it to Lexi. 
Will Seven Panayan confirming from the sidelines. Julina De La Cruz just had cramps. Nothing, a massage from their PT won't help. Now she just needs to cool down. And actually, she even cheered na girl, the girls. Na Mars Kaya Payan ilaban panate. Now let's get back to this third set, Seven Panayan. Salamat then, Panayan called it right. It did look like cramps. And 22-16 is the count here. We've got Laxina and Alba coming back in. Fernandez and Fajardo Dart out. Yung maganda kay Dino Wong for uh, this game is kahit ma-block yung kanyang teammates, sinesetan niya uli agad That's para makabawi. Point. Yes. Giving a chance na makabawi yung teammates niya to have more confidence. Kirai lifts it up. Molded from the back row gets it on a slight cross court. Angled it. Let's just call it a diagonal. Well crafted. Watch this. Yeah, what an angle from Isa Moldat. Molded. Take a look at this. Not a complete cross court. Eh. Yeah. Nahati lang ng court. Eh. Sumusunod na si CJ Wu sa direction ng katawan niya. But yung contact niya sa bola, angling that attack. That's out. Nice try by Virai. Tama yung sinasabi mo. No? Wu, binabasa mo yung Spiker. And Dante Alinsino reheeding the request of his assistant. You can challenge this coach. Once is the one talking in the Choco Huddle. <laughs> Take a look at CC. But I think the players are also signaling to their coaches that it's it, it was ah, yeah, time. Yeah, that's also true. That's also true. And that, uh, ito, ito. Uy, out. Yeah, malayu yon. But good try also. Napasmile na lang doon si Coach, ba Coach Dante. Sabi ni Referee Eusebius, Coach, isa na lang challenge mo. Now they only need two points to close the set. And take a 2-1 lead and try to get close to the seventh straight win. What a set by Dina Wong. Wala na sumabay na blockers doon kay Caitlin Veray. The, the, the cargo movers totally forgot that Dina is in the back row. So she's not allowed to set that ball over. And we're done. Well done. And it's on a defensive measure. That's why Dante Alonsinuran also applauded that. He doesn't applaud much. But watch this. Good block by Cherry Nunag, one on one on that middle attack with a Majoy Baron. And with that, Cheo Pamucho takes a two set to one lead in the match. <laughs> Okay, don't forget there are new streaming experiences uh, that await you via the Filipinas Live app available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for just $149. And look at this. It's uh, the last uh, two sets have been Chocomucho's domain uh, tonight. That's right. And actually a better uh, third set by the Flying Titans because this time Dina Wong is already activating all of her attackers. And we saw a lot 
of a single block or sometimes no block pa from the cargo movers sa mga attack um, spikers nitong uh, flying titans. That just means that everyone is really contributing in the scoring department and Dina activating everyone para mahirapan ang defense nitong uh, cargo movers. On the side of the cargo movers, medyo dumagal naman yung kanilang mga attack kahit naging maayos yung blockings ng Flying Titans and we're looking at the numbers again the Flying Titans dominating on that attack points with 18 points against 7 non cargo movers and the Flying Titans had one block points uh, more service errors uh, more um, unforced errors actually for that set with 8 errors against 6 non cargo movers but there was just a huge point difference in the attacks with 18 points so this fourth set, so far the momentum is on the Flying Titans and uh, cargo, move, cargo Movers need to work double time. They need to uh, makabawi, maka-adjust kagad because again, I think uh, different lineup ule ang gagamitin dito ni Coach Regine Diego for the fourth set. Okay, production-wise, there are two people in double digits for Chocomucho, Rodino with 15. Tolentino with 10. Molde is a point away at 9. On the other side, F2 does not have anybody in twin digits. The best scorers are Laxina and Maraño. De La Cruz has chipped in 6 points. We are underway and the first point already belongs to Chocomucho. So for this set, Aragala and Mayla Pablo will start as um, open hitters for their squad. You know, one thing that F2 needs to uh, develop, um, I'm sure they're working on it, is their chemistry as a team. Yung, uh, so many parts have changed through the years. Eh? Right. So they need to form that team that will be the new F2, if uh, you want to call it that. Luxina, Molde, Alba, Wu. Dina, Viral. And we've got a nice rally going on, but Baron has had enough of it. Yeah, this time, si Baron naman ha, kuha ng kill block na one-on-one -on -one with a Cherry Nuna. We're tied once. Myla Pablo. Myla Pablo will do the honors now. Ooh, Fons is getting to the floor. That is off the blockers. Yeah, we know Caitlin Garay. She is actually very smart when it comes to attacking. Na kahit na mabantayan siya ng kanya mga blockers, she knows how to use those hands well. Score stands at two against one. Chocomucho with the two set to one lead here. And as we get going with the fourth, Ara has to make it a set. They end up being chewed up by the double block. Yeah, her set was actually a bit tight for Ivy Laxina. Nandun na yung mga blockers. So, mauunahan na, na nila talaga yung spiker doon. They looked tentative. They did not look like they knew what to do with that particular set. But I thought they'd go to her. Laxina. Oh. Madayag. Wong to the other end. It's rejected. Birai, I thought she'd get it back. Madayag, another long rally in progress. Galang, Rondina high up, and Madayag pushes oh! it over to the open space. <laughs> Very smart placement on the drop ball there by Madi Madayag. If you can't cheer facing the opponent, you can at least walk. <laughs> Take a look at that easy ito, point. Ito, ito, ito. All the way to ito. <laughs> Candidate number seven. Oh, chance here for the Flying Titans. Molde. Oh, good defense. But a net touch violation called on Ivy Laxina. Yung mga unforced errors na hindi makakatulong dito sa cargo movers. Alam mo to si Molde, UP pa lang. Rookie pa yan. Smiling girl talaga. Yeah, she is. Nothing uh, bothers her, whether she plays or not. There were times when she really didn't get to see much action. Molde? 
Oh. <laughs> hang on, Lexi. Hang on, hang on. Now we can go to Lexi. Thank you, Seven Panang. Now they're down two sets, but actually Coach, Coach Reds reminds him that it isn't over till it's over. But with still Jolina on the side, Coach Reds says that they should still focus on the basics and be more aggressive. And, you know, this report is brought to you by the Pilipinas Live app where you can get the most extensive coverage that you'll get of the PVL. But before anything else, well, let's listen in to this timeout. And just when I thought I knew uh, parents of uh, Ivy Luxina are in the audience. Gilbert without the T. Okay. Now I was. I didn't see the seven because Regin Petra Petra. Petra meaning mahina lang na palo or iniingat mo masado yung palo. Parang wina walis mula yung adulto para Petra na mitiniling. And right on cue from the timeout of Coach Regin Diego. Ganon yung mga gusto niya. Ispaluin mo talaga. Baon mo. Be aggressive in attacking. Dahil nakupuesto han kayo na maayos ng blockers and defense ng Flying Titans. And uh, the mother is over there. That her name is Verna. Oh, Baron with a service error. Seven service. Something's wrong with the F2 game. You know, it's not in sync. Yeah. Since that first set, you know. Medyo parang bumagal sila bigla and they lack in communication and definitely no aggressiveness that we're seeing from their squad. But they are coming off the bench has been specially productive. Six points. You're the middle blocker or attacker as much as possible. Pumasok ka na pumasok dyan dahil sasabay yung blocker ng kalaban eh. I suspect also that uh, Molde is getting a lot of playing time with the absence of this Chen as well. In the meantime, are we in a timeout? Yes, we are. Oh, I think it's a challenge. This is the challenge today. So yeah. We'll hang on to the air. The coaches will challenge that service of Caitlin Garay, whether it's inside or outside. Where is the ball? Here we go. Ooh, inside the attack. I think it is inside. And a successful challenge there by the cargo movers. The point will stay with the Flying Titans. Abhi Maranya had a great piece of leadership and wisdom in that uh, sudden huddle they had because of the challenge. Uh, let's not get frustrated. Let's go back to who we were in the first set. Kasi Yeah, actually, totoo na mas mabilis makahawa if you're frustrated rather than you are playing great inside the court. Ah, ito yan. Parang sa bahay. Hindi masarap pa ulam. Late and delivery. Nag-aaway ako. Sino magbabay? Pero like what I mentioned a while ago, kahit malaki yung lamang ng kalaban, don't show any signs of frustration because definitely mahawa talaga yung mga teammates mo dyan. You gotta play right. No? Yeah, and as much as possible, you just have to stay focused and get one point at a time. Magugulat na lang kayo na nakakahabol na kayo. That's a great suggestion, great point. Virai attempted to pursue it, but uh, really out of reach. Topomocha still has the lead here in the fourth. Nine, four, count. Hoping to seal the deal and complete another win in their so far successful run after losing their first game on opening day. Dina Wong sets Mulder. Red cleanly by Gala. Rondina heaves it high. Wong reverses. 
She likes Madi Madayak today in the mind. Ah, Molde. Oh, yes, sir. Look at those eyes. <laughs> one and one there with Abby Marano. Alam mo, may gamemanship ito eh. Itong joke mo lang. Kita mo yun, kita mo yun. Now it's a 10-4 count here in the fourth. Oh, Makandili does what she does. Ah, well done. That's yeah, well done. the target by Ivy Laxina. Five serving ten. Nagulohan ako sa substitution. Ayun, si Baron lumabas. Yeah, she thought na um, si Abby Maran na mag-serve, so it's time for her to go inside the court, but not yet. Hindi pa umiikot si Makandili. In the meantime, air time, Rondina. Ah... And it's down and out. And Marani trying to ignite her team, actually. Yep. That was a good uh, drop ball. Humahabul lang siya kay Mars Alba, but still, Mars was able to set that ball at the back quick. Ponce. Matayab. What a game coming off the bench. Yes, that's right. And she's very unstoppable with her uh, slide attack. Take a look at this. And layo nung blockers niya. Abby Marano talaga hindi na makakahabol doon with the cross court. Choco with an interesting swag here as they obtain control of the match after losing the first set. Good attack by Pablo. Believe it or not, the first official point. Yeah, I Pablo. think so too. First clean connection. That's unusual. Na hindi naman sa hindi na nabibigyan ng bola, no? Yep. Hindi lang talaga nakakaproduce. Well, Dina, she knows it when the block is out of position and she can slam it against the block, it will get out. Right, pero dami na yung teammates na nandun to cover for the ball, but Tang Ponce shouted outside. And when Ponce shouts, you better listen. <laughs> oh, classic puto. Rondina. Oh, classic above, delivery. Above her blocker, si si Rondina with that open attack. But... Si Ponce, no? ano na rin? May swag na rin? Right. Okay, they're in command. 13-7, Ponce. Ang kauna-unahang uh, NBA in-season tournament ay nandito na. Panoorin ang lahat ng 30 teams, laban-laban para sa NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9. Only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports at Filipinas Live. Hashtag NBA on Signal and hashtag always a fan. 13-7 is the count here in the fourth. Sam Sarmenta and uh, Paneng Mercado and Lexi Rodriguez taking care of your last game for the day. It's been a very long day, actually. Uh, that uh, signal cherry Tigo game was a uh, hard deck game if there ever was one. It could have gone either way. And uh, cherry Tigo ended up winning that by the slimmest of margins, actually. This one, I, I 
if you have two recoveries during this stretch, stretch we could have a similar nail biter but uh, f2 has to do many things differently here close to the net why not go home early yeah. <laughs> but that was back to back attacks from cc rondina now above her blockers so my different approach it on cc but explosive yung approach niya. You know na she will really go for that attack. Pero pag may times na mabagal lang, she will use the hands of her blockers or even kung pa siya napupwestuhan ng blockers niya. A block point delivered by the uh, Nuna Giray legal firm combined and connived. Some new players, Fernandez and Fajardo, they've been around, are returning to the game. 15, We're seeing a lot of substitutions from the side of the cargo yeah. movers since the previous sets. Alam mo itong F2, a team in transition eh. Yeah, um, they're really looking for that who, combination. Who they are now, in, now and in the future, you know? Yeah. Oh, Myla Pablo gets that to whisk against the block. Take a look at that drop ball of Myla Pablo. Late na doon sa block. Si Cherry Nu naghumabol lang siya and she was the one who touched that ball. Aragalang has hands on it. Double block. Seals. But we are still in play. Another block. Oh. What happened there? They could not attack. Ponce. Nunag. Whoa. Slap by Pablo. Wong. Ponce says, I got it. That was outside. But we're miscommunication a while ago from the side of the cargo movers because yeah. Don Makandini oh. got that first ball. And it was actually a high ball, but the setter was late. Si Kim na bayan, ang layo, parang ang layo niya, no? No, she was there. Oh. But parang miscommunication uh -oh. lang nag stop siya ah yun ah uh, oy pancake save boy pa but this one is out <laughs> that is counting dalawa na yan ha <laughs> dalawa na yan and take a look at his reaction parang kakabahan ka pag ganyan lang katahimik yung coach mo <laughs> he's like your eldest brother Diba? Inantay ka umuwi kagabi. Ang late mo na umuwi. Paliwanag ka. Dalawa na yan, ha? <laughs> and tatlo na yan. 3-0 run by the cargo movers. Yep. And Dante has seen enough. It's time to ground somebody. Goat and goat. Let's listen. Okay. Yun lang naman naging problema natin. Pero... Maganda naman ang set-time, maganda. Kaya sila sa gagawin. Every time na bibigyan tayo ng bola, eh, huwag na natin ano, kailangan patay natin, lalo pag hindi organize ang block. Malatan, ha? Yeah. Mag-organize, pwede. Okay? Sige, one good pass lang. Then, guys, yung ating transition, nawawala na naman. Ha? Hindi na tayo naging successful sa transition natin. Huwag natin madaliin mo. Okay, okay, sige, sige. Let's go, girls. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're still far from uh, the end of this match because uh, Cargo Movers have scored a series of points here. Four, in fact, I believe. And that's a delight coming out of a timeout if you can get that to happen. We arrive with a clean connection. Watch this. A tough set by Dina Wong, but no cross court block there for. Virai. Again, another substitution from the side of the cargo movers. Somebody new. Shola is back. Shola Alvarez. F2. Six out seven. Alvarez in. Referee Eusebio reminding Coach uh, 
Regine, the number of subs she has left. That's a line. Good save. Blocked oh. and scored upon. And Molde with a sheepish grin. Actually, that attack from Ivy was not that strong. But I think that was a good set from Alva. Pero hindi lang yun na puesto na agad. Or iningatan niya yung palo niya na yun. But Isa Molde was already there waiting for that one. She has 12 points. Alba. Galang! Oh, that's the Galang we know. Right. Parang siya yung sumunod sa instructions ni Coach Reg not to be aggressive when it comes to attack. But uh, she's hoping that uh, Coach Reg is the helping. It's not too late. Yeah. 17-13 tally. Baron will serve. Ah, Bonde. Good combination play. That's familiar. One-handed set. Magayag puts two hands on it. And Dina playing like a libero there. Birai! Oh, it's still alive. Ball is still alive. No need to check the update challenge. The assistant is still alive. Challenge, challenge, challenge. Yeah, they will challenge yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They it looked look like, look, look like a good pickup, though. I am getting ahead of the story. But the coaches can actually do that stop a play if they want yes, to use they their do. challenge. Yes, they can. successful the point will go to the flying titans earlier today we had petrogas winning against far fresh and then we had the third people winning against signal team standings anyway back to the present here comes caitlin viral oh. the uh, they need to take care of uh, this four point advantage Many of our coaches have now adjusted to the fact that when they're at service areas, they don't overreact anymore. No, that's the part of the game. Man. Oh. Yeah. Because when you lose the coaching, but stay pass up, mo. No, no longer applies. Huh? <laughs> oh, really? Actually, based from experience, then, kag nahahakabang magcommit na service area. Oh no, lalo na pag critical. Oh. Ah, but this is unstoppable. Take a look at that from the back row, CC Rondina. She is not of this world. She's a different level, really. Oh, good counter, Aragala. I love it when she turns back a bit at the hands of time and gets that hit. I think she's the only one scoring now for oh, yes. the cargo no. movers. Oh, yeah. Well, the ref should step up and help. Tight and close. Alba. Ponce. Good save. Yeah, hits it on the way down. Alba twists. Rejected. Reset. Undecided. They keep it in play. Rondina. Alba. Yeah. Oh, it's outside. It's outside with no block touch. 19-15 or 20-15 count. Myla Pablo returns, replaces Shola Alvarez. Challenges denied for LT Logistics. 
So no more, no more substitution here allowed for the side of the cargo movers. Mukhang na max nila, no? Yeah, na max out na nila. Molde. Rondina. Yeah, I wasn't sure. And she knew it. At that opportunity, she hesitated actually. Ako, ako, mali, sabi niya. shoes fashionable. Really nice spare. Oh, oh. no, no. Nice attack. And she has been a factor in this game. She has 10 points. That was um, zero tempo approach in the middle attack. A good co connection between her and Dina Wong. Nahirapan talaga makasunod ng mga blockers ng cargo movers. And that's against the block, touch last by Choco, 21-17. Alba will serve. Choco Mulcher, if you're just joining us, it's two sets to one lead. They lost the first set, but took the last two, the second and the third. From Dina, hammer time! Yeah, talagang pinasak niya yung kanyang uh, blockers. Dina at sa lakas, ano? Yeah. Dina naka-establish yung maayos doon yung block ni Ivy Laxina. But they want to close this game. Yeah, right here, right now. Yeah. Late as it is. It ricochets off the block. Reverse. Virai rejected. A good cover by Rondina. Yes. Nakandili, Alba. It's still alive. Cut shot. Air time. Ah! Dami niya iniisip. She wanted to play short, but <laughs> nawala ng elevation. Iningatan niya yung palo niya doon. Ah. Talking about si si Rondina. Pasensya na po. Pasensya na po. <laughs> ah, ulan. Although she has scored 20 points. Out. Spelling the music that I can't do. Vera is such a smart, heady player. A very reliable one, actually coming up from the bench. There's a challenge. They will not allow the subs for now. Can I say, Ms. Mike, with the Sabali to Pumasa? This is a immigration. Whether it went inside or outside, is that correct? If it's that, it's out. <laughs> <laughs> That's way out. Clearly a successful challenge by the cargo movers. So the point will go to the Flying Titans, and they only need two points to close this game. And Arocha is now inside the court to serve for the Flying Titans. Alba. Makandili keeps it in play. Double block, denying Galang any entry. And Dina tried with one hand. No success. It's 23 to 19. Yeah, hindi nakapwesto doon na maayos si Dina Wong for the defense. Rocha goes out. Luna returns. Sponsor returns as well. Dina Wong telling Madi Madiak, uwi na tayo. Did we get to say it? Nope, it's more there actually. Blockers in place. Dina. From Dina. And we arrive at match point. Grabe yung layo ng approach ni Sisi Rondina when she goes for the back row attack. Ang layo ng buwelo niya, parang tumapakuno siya sa service area. 
She's like a heavy duty 737, just about ready to leave for Los Angeles. For this match. We're done. And Chakamucho remains unbeaten. And they have now strung together seven straight wins and makes the count as he pleased up to today, seven and one, still behind cream line. But what a performance after losing the first set. And we'll have our best player of the game in just a short time. Uh, partner. We'll see it later, Gosino, but definitely this is someone who really contributed in all of the departments and attack, block, dig, and receive. She tallied a lot of points for those and a collectively actually a good effort and a good teamwork by the Flying Titans because they started really slow, but when they got their momentum no second set, nagtuloy-tuloy na yon until the fourth set and hindi na nila binigyan ng chance. Maka bawi pa dito ang cargo movers. So this long day of volleyball finally ends uh, with Chocomucho emerging victorious, and Isa Molde is celebrated by her teammates. And there is our best player of the game. Um, I don't know if we get the chance to talk to her. Uh, F2 saying thank you to their fans. Galen Stan, but they were not together, the you know, uh, team ng F2. They were looking for their identity, actually, as a team. But pero ang ganda no start nila no first set. Oh, bro. They weren't able to sustain that good um, game if they if they just stick to their uh, game plan. Dahil nahirapan na rin sila, makahabol sa mga blocks, sa mga attack ng Flying Titans. Uh, then, then Lazaro was just hoisted by um, Abi Marano, binuhat. <laughs> Parang alam na ni Dendeg kung ano gagawin eh. May tawag dyan eh. Ano? Pa, i-abi maranyo mo ako. I remember that one. <laughs> Nagpangabot ba kayo dito? Na, yeah, na, nagkaabot kami. Binuhat ka rin? Nabuhat din niya ako. Kahit sa professional league, <laughs> nabuhat din niya ako. Okay, okay. I-abi maranyo. I've been looking for a name for that ha, through the years. Ha. May 12, 10 years ko na na yata. Okay. I think, uh, Lexi, are you ready, Lexi? Dahil tinatanong pa ni Isa kung ano itatanong ni Lexi. Ah, teka, ayun. Ah, ito muna, choice cuts muna. Isa Molde is our best player, no question about it. Okay, take a look at that. Of course, Isa Molde, tally 13 points coming from 10 attacks, 2 blocks, 1 ace, and 14 excellent digs. So, relatively all-around good game ito para kay Isa Molde. But... Without the team, without the help of her teammates, also she wouldn't able yeah, so to tally that uh, number. Yes, many other scorers as well. Let's go to Lexi. Thank you, Seven Paneng. I'm with the best player of the game, Isa Molde, with 13 points, nine attacks, two blocks, an ace, and 14 digs. First of all, Isa, congratulations. Nung huli ka yung nagharap, it was a thrilling five-setter match. Ngayon, tinalo mo sila, tinalo nyo sila in just four sets, making your winning streak six to seven. Anong nararamdaman mo? Super happy kasi napatunayan na namin na parang kuha-kuha na namin yung sistema ni Coach. Kahit hindi perfect, pero andyan. I know, excited na excited ka na, na mag-celebrate with your team. Anong unang-unang gagawin mo when you go to the dugout? Oh, uh, magpa, magpapabiti. <laughs> Magpapatherapy po siguro. <laughs> but then, ayun nga, congratulations. I know you're looking forward to just resting and having this week for you and the rest of the team. Meron ka bang gustong batiin dito sa mga supporters nyo in the Phil Sports Arena? Hello po! Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagpunta kahit sobrang late. Maraming maraming thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Isa. And congratulations, congratulations to the rest of the Chocomucho Flying Titans. So I'm going to turn it back to the panel. Okay, thank you very much, Lexi Rodriguez. We're going to take a quick glimpse at the latest standings after today. I'll take a look at this. Creamline still undefeated. Um, nasa number one spot pa sila sa ngayon. And with that win of the Chocomucho Flying Titans, they are at second place with seven wins and one loss. Tay sila ng Charity go actually for that. But like what I mentioned, there's only four teams who will make it to the next round. And meron pang mga ibang games na kailangan um, laruin itong mga ibang teams. So like 
like what we saw earlier this day, na talagang grabe yung mga games, dikit na dikit yes. yung mga games na, na papanood natin nitong mga nakakaraang araw. Thank you, Paneng, uh, Donix Warder, and uh, Lex Rodriguez. This is the schedule. Come Thursday right here at this venue. Galleries, Akari, Creamline, Exled, Chocomucho returns to the floor. They face PLDT. So it's been a great day of volleyball for all of us here, where the uh, heart of volleyball pulsates very loudly. And this beat will continue in the day's ahead. Good night. <laughs>